Everyday work, sometimes three a days, sometimes two a day. Not easy. No. I'll say John Shola so, you know, he had a couple of great moves, he got out my package, you know, so, uh, <laughs> best move, oh, so let me show you what you got to do, so when you got the defender right there, you got to hit him with the any, but you got to throw between his legs, snatch it back, step back, and in the corner, cash it out, that's homemade move, that's a double R move right there. It looks pretty effortless for him right now, which is great. There is the one play where he goes, I think is it right hand between the leg, between the defender's legs, and then does the step back in the corner and hits the either the deep two or the three. That, that play was was pretty crazy. But I mean, it's something he practices on a daily basis in the court here. So uh, yeah, he looks he looks really good. He looks really good. <laughs> Most people think we come to a relaxed setting like this, and this guy's been working out three, four times a day. Uh, I mean, this guy, what I'm learning is an ultimate competitor. He works extremely hard every single rep. I mean, it's almost scary. And, uh, you know, the guy came here, he came to Miami, you know, he came to my city, and he's working harder than anybody I've ever had down here. Why are you in the drill? I'm healthy now. I don't know. Who do you think you're talking to? What up? Ball. Them three drills. He need three. He need three. He need three. How you grab more? I ain't doing nothing. What? He need three. You need three. Oh, no. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Oh, oh, I ain't there, boy. This ain't that fat boy you play early in the year. This ain't that fat boy you play early in the year. I just called on you, though, so. I took you three dribbles, but that's two. I only took two. That was one, that was one light dribble. Yeah. Nah, I told you I was fat earlier when he beat me. Now I'm in shape. Hold on, wait. I told you. It's for the hood right here, dude. Oh. It's for the hood. You already know it's for the hood. I am born for greatness. I am born for greatness. Jack. Today's been a, a, a pretty big day for John. Um, this is kind of like three and a half workouts, I guess, for him. The plan originally was to have him just go on kind of like a leisurely bike ride this morning. Um, just get some sun and, and get a good sweat in. Um, it, the, the tires on his road bike popped, so that didn't work out very well. So we biked about two miles. Um, and then we went to a Versa Climber class, which was great. Uh, about 20 or 30 minutes of using the Versa Climber in different tempos and different intensities. Great class. Uh, just finished up a weight training session at the University of Miami's weight room. Uh, today was our frontal plane, so kind of side to side and lateral movement. Uh, plyometrics, agility, and strength day. Um, and now he's on the court right now. So, uh, a lot going on. We're definitely gonna have to schedule a massage for him later tonight.
How long has that picture been in the office? What? That picture. Since I got back. Since first year? First year I got here. First year. Okay, we'll go in. It'll be same same order as last time. Okay. Coach, you, John, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a super right here. I got some strong. They want everybody to wear. For real? They wouldn't know. Ernie you couldn't see Ernie with us. No shades. Come on, I wouldn't see you with no shades on. Mom, she's there. She's there? Yeah. We gotta call her out. You're not gonna cry again, are you? Nah, <laughs> you know, 235, 234. Oh, 24% body fat. 24% body fat. Hey, Jesse's having a fit right now. You can't get in the body Where's Jesse right now? In Lane. I work out when I get back tonight. Sure. a very significant day for us, but we, before we get started, I'd like to introduce and thank John family, especially his mother Frances, for coming to share this uh, moment with us. Um, last four years, he's made the all-star team. This past year, he's risen to an elite level and making all pro, and uh, we look forward to having him in this franchise and one day having his number up in the rafters. Being able to coach him this past season. Uh, it took my thinking to another level on who he is as a person, on how he works as a player. He, he does definitely make his teammates better. But the thing that I love about him, he's a, he, he has a good heart, he has a caring soul. He cares about his teammates, he cares about his organization, he cares about the city that uh, he lives in. And it's really impressive. I love when John stands up and says, this is my city. And that's how I feel. I feel that... Um, that just watching John grow up, I've said this, Ms. Francis, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, the integrity that he shows, the commitment to um, incrementally improving all of the time. Um, I'm, it's amazing how hard he's working. And, and this is the time when you improve. It's during the off season. And I'm not gonna stop until I get a jersey retired here and a banner here for a championship. So yeah. let's keep it going. My second home. This is like family to me. Everything I do in the city, ever since day one, I have, every time I walk around the city, everybody show me support and love. And that's the most important thing I can give back to these people. Uh, they look at me not as John Wall, the superstar, the basketball player. They look at me as a great person. And that's one thing my mom raised me as a young man. She said, no matter how great you is on the basketball court, if you're not a great person, don't have great character, nobody's gonna take you serious. It's a joke. And that's one thing I always keep in my heart. Here we go. Miss Francis starting to cry. When are you going to start crying? We do this. This is a, it's a kind of a ritual. Got him in the spot. He's not one of the best point guards. He's one of the best players in the league. Oh. <laughs> Letting them see me work every day, you know. I mean, you can see the videos, but I want them to see me work every day in person and see how hard it is to, to be great and want to be good in this league. And I think he has a chance to be a good player for us off the bench. It just he has to understand what it takes. <laughs> Jacob Rame and Jeremy Hyman, and joining us now is John Wall 
fresh off of his press conference for his new contract. Yeah, I feel like I just had a, just to put my name up there in that wall is be amazing. But to put a championship banner there would be even more amazing and you'll be the greatest wizard player of all time. That's my ultimate goal. I told you. You sure to see her? Alright, everyone, nice and close. Oh. Damn, baby, I look good. Give me a wife tonight. Don't be hating. What did thing do for your back? Alright, little people. Huh? What did that thing do for your back? Help my back. Oh, those are my chains. See what it is. What do you got to make? I just got to make it. how your game may develop or how, how it may have to develop uh, as you get older? Nah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>